Hello everyone, this is Zafes from the Minecraft Pals and uh, this video is dedicated to Jimmy Swift um, he made a contraption where he had a hidden door uh, in a wall and um, uh, I decided to make a little improvement as someone has already did but I will try to explain what I did and show you the circuits so here let's let's watch it in action well it works just like that pretty much as we've seen and I added a new feature you can make it work like this and it stays permanently open and then you can reset it and the same button and here's an <coughs> another sorry another way to do it with a pressure point so we all seen it working and now I'm gonna show you guys the circuit so oh wait it's getting dark I'll just no let's just do it like this okay so this is a tunnel so now the pistons are all reset and this is how the system looks like it looks a little bit complicated but in reality it's not well this is just the way to wire the pistons uh, I won't get into much detail because this is the basic part the tricky part is down here and as you can see it's not much well the problem obviously with this contraption is uh, to get the first two pistons to retract and then these four pistons retract and after that we have to make these four pistons extend before the other two they extend to do that what I did was well this memory cell here triggers the pistons that uh, show the door the two pistons the front door pistons let's call it that way the one that the, the ones that do this, this part the retraction of the back so as I was saying this memory cell does that in order to get them only to extend after they've been released by these four pistons what I did was place an AND gate to reset the memory cell how does this work? well this means that this torch and this torch must be off so that the, the power can come out from this torch and reset the memory cell so the signals I chose to res to enter this uh, end gate were the following this one from the, the this four set of pistons which means that when they are extended the signal changes to this uh, by uh, turning this torch off and in uh, allowing this to be on but this only happens if the signal from the switch or lever or whatever you use is also off. You see, oh, that's just, don't forget you have to invert it. That's it. It's the it's the it's, it's the same thing. Um, well, this is it. It's pretty simple. Memory cell that sorry uh, end gate and memory cell. Memory cell triggers the the 
the two pistons that hide the door and it is only resetted or, or uh, it only closes after these four sets of pistons so it's quite simple I think uh, another detail that you might be thinking about is the part where I can have a toggle button well basically it's a flip-flop uh, contraption which is uh, described uh, on a Minecraft wiki uh, this one actually it's not because it's uh, well it's a bit it's quite large but I frankly don't understand the, the ones that are in the wiki but you can use them they're quite compact and uh, work perfectly this one is not my creation uh, I've seen it uh, I've got it right here copied I've seen it uh, on a Mysercore uh, channel I'll put it on link on the description here is another example with the door oh, I guess it's not work King, where, oh now it is sometimes it doesn't work very well but now you can see it is he explained it very well if you want to check him out do it uh, well this is it I hope uh, you guys like it and chimney too. <laughs> uh, this video is for him. So please don't 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 see, don't worry. And if you want to use it, be my guest. I hope you like it. Oops, there it goes. Oh, and. If you choose to use this uh, toggle system, you can easily wire a, a secondary button right inside here, connected to this very same point here, and it will work the same way. Well, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.